Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of the London Irish St. Patrick's Party shirt. So I'm down at BLK today to chat to them about the shirt and they're going to be making the decision with London Irish on what shirt they're going to go with. So let's get inside and let's see what they decide today. How did the partnership with BLK and London Irish start? Back at uh, so start of this year, um, we started talking to the club when they were in the process of looking for a new kit supplier, um, and yeah, talk started from there, and, and we moved forward into a partnership, a five-year partnership with the, with the club. So the design comes in once it's all confirmed and checked with the sponsors. What happens next from the BLK side of things? So that that process before is quite a long process because getting a design correct sort of takes quite a long time. So <coughs> that that starts the process off and then what we do is there's a technical side of it of putting it into a tech pack which basically outlines what's in the shirt whether it be sponsors sizes dimensions and then that obviously has to be done per size of the shirt so that they all come across the same um, in terms of the sponsors etc and then from there that that tech pack is ready for production so that goes into the factory from from there so there's just a bit of a behind the scenes work to get it into production. The kind of pattern around the, those kind of areas. I also quite like this guy. I'm thinking that, yeah. I do, actually, this one here, the, the half of the, that one, I quite like the box. That's just a quarter. Quarter. Yeah. quarter. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think we'll that one for a home shirt in the future. I think that's cool. Oh, it is. as well. Did London Irish have a good response to the competition? Uh, we had a fantastic response. The supporters really uh, uh, came through. Um, we want to thank all the supporters for this and it's, uh, it's just part of the fun of, of, of sort of working for a professional rugby club and um, yeah the supporters should be proud of their creativity and uh, it's been a great exercise in selecting uh, the shirt which the players will wear next year. What were the key features you were looking for for the winning shirt? It's the St Patrick's Day party, so the shamrock has to be part of the design. Um, we have to be mindful of, of the colour of the kit as well, because there are certain regulations in terms of the match with the uh, other um, team's uh, kit. But um, yeah, it was, um, it's uh, based around sort of Irishness and the, uh, and the shamrock, as it always has been. So there we go, guys. Uh, it was great to see so many entries and thank you to every one of you that entered into the competition. Uh, London Irish have made the decision but you won't be able to see that just yet. You'll have to wait until the next episode where I'll be going to the factory and I'll, I'll actually see the shirts being made and then we'll do a big reveal at the club with some of the players and you'll be able to see the jersey for the first time. So thanks to everybody who submitted entries again and I'll see you for the next video guys. Bye!